Hey everybody, Jack Clips Painting here, back with part two of our Bolt Action Made Easy series. I've got my US Infantrymen here that we painted to a nice tabletop ready standard. And today we're going to work on our basing. I'm going to be using a few different products here. We're going to have some Vallejo Thick Mud. This is the European Mud. We're also going to be using some Vallejo Ground Texture. This is their Snow Effect Ground Texture. This is pretty great stuff. And also some Army Painter Winter Tufts. All right, we're going to start off with our tufts. I'm going to show you two different methods. First is using some PVA glue to attach your tufts to that white glue. This is pretty good. It doesn't have as strong of a hold as something like super glue, but it works just fine and it dries transparent. Alternatively, if you want to go faster, you can use some cyanoacrylate super glue to attach your tufts, but be careful because if you add too much, it can frost up as it dries and dry kind of in a crystallized manner, which can be kind of ugly to look at. Also, I'm using some tweezers to apply this stuff. It makes it so much easier. Pick up a cheap set of those to help you out with your basing game. Now we're going to transition over to using our thick mud. You can see it's that gross thick mud stuff inside of there. I'm going to use a old throwaway brush and get a little bit on my brush at a time. Dab that around the base, around their boots, on the wheels. If you have tanks, you can put these all up on the road wheels and the tracks, getting them all muddy and it dries great. Just be careful not to use too much at any one time. It's always better to apply little by little than just glob it all over everything because then you have to try to take it off and that is a major headache. All right, our mud is almost dry and you can see it's quite a bit brighter than the brown paint that we used when we uh, did our dirt there. So I'm just going to grab some soft tone from Army Painter, dab that onto the bases to help blend those two colors together. We do want a little bit of color modulation because ground is not usually all one color shade. It kind of switches it up and that color modulates between the different types of dirt and the concentration and the wetness and all that kind of stuff. So just a thin little dabbing of soft tone over those bases will blend that together nicely. And once that is dry, we're going to pull out our snow from Vallejo ground texture. This is great, nice fluffy snow effect stuff. Again, just get a little bit of it on the brush at a time and gently dab that on to your bases. It's always easier to start off with a little bit and then build on top of it than it is to try to do it all at once. And we're just going to get around sort of the perimeter of the bases, getting some of those little blobs of snow on there, kind of building it up. So not so it's crazy thick, but it does have some fluffiness to it, like some snow there. And it's going to give our bases a really nice either early winter or late winter where stuff is starting to thaw, but there's still a little bit of snow there just to tell the story of where these guys are and how their bases look. And you can see that snow on there is looking great. It is really bright white underneath my desk lights here. It actually kind of hurts to look at, but it is great looking snow effect. The instructions recommend that you let this stuff dry overnight. So these guys are pretty much done. Like I am ready to peel these guys off and give them a nice matte coat to finish them out, ready to take them to events and stuff like that, looking their best. But I am going to let that sit overnight before I apply a matte coat just so that that earth texture snow can dry nice and thick. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Next video is going to be some tanks. Yeah, we're painting some armor, so look forward to it. 